साईराम स्टुडंट्स वेलकम टू द एथ सेशन ऑफ चॅप्टर फायव्ह दॅट इज फ्रॅक्शन्स सो स्टुडंट्स इन द लास्ट सेशन वी वर सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम सेट ट्वेंटी टू अँड इन प्रॉब्लम सेट ट्वेंटी टू वी कम्प्लिटेड द फर्स्ट वन दॅट इज ॲडिशन ऑफ अनलाईक फ्रॅक्शन्स नाव लेट्स मो टू द सेकंड वन वॉट इज सेकंड वन इट इज सबट्रॅक्ट मीन्स थ्री अपॉन टेन मायनस वन अपॉन ट्वेंटी सो यू कॅन सी चिल्ड्रन ट्वेंटी इट इज डिव्हिजिबल बाय टेन टेन टू झा ट्वेंटी सो वॉट विल यू डू यू विल राईट थ्री इंटू टू अपॉन टेन इंटू टू मायनस वन अपॉन ट्वेंटी सो वॉट इज थ्री टू झा थ्री टू झा इज सिक्स अपॉन ट्वेंटी मायनस वन अपॉन ट्वेंटी सो वील कीप द कॉमन डिनॉमिनेटर ॲज ट्वेंटी अँड सिक्स मायनस वन सो वॉट इज सिक्स मायनस वन चिल्ड्रन फायव्ह सो फाय अपॉन ट्वेंटी नाव यू कॅन सी चिल्ड्रन ट्वेंटी इट इज फर्दर डिव्हिजिबल बाय फायव्ह राईट फायव वन झा फायव फोर झा ट्वेंटी सो यू विल राईट द आन्सर ॲज वन अपॉन फोर राईट सो यू आन्सर इज वन अपॉन फोर लेट्स मो टू द सेकंड वन थ्री अपॉन फोर मायनस वन अपॉन टू नाव यू कॅन सी चिल्ड्रन फोर इट इज डिव्हिजिबल बाय टू 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 झा फोर सो वॉट वील डू वील कीप द फ्रॅक्शन थ्री अपॉन फोर ॲज इट इज मायनस वन इंटू टू अपॉन टू इंटू टू सो यू विल राईट थ्री अपॉन फोर मायनस वन टू झा इज टू अँड टू टू झा इज फोर सो वॉट वील यू डू थ्री मायनस टू अपॉन फोर सो वॉट इज थ्री मायनस टू इट इज वन सो वन अपॉन फोर इज युअर आन्सर राईट चिल्ड्रन लेट्स मो टू द थर्ड वन सिक्स अपॉन फोर्टीन मायनस टू अपॉन सेवन नाव फोर्टीन इट इज डिव्हिजिबल बाय सेवन सेवन टू झा फोर्टीन सो वॉट विल यू डू यू विल राईट सिक्स अपॉन फोर्टीन मायनस टू इंटू टू अपॉन सेवन इंटू टू what so you will write 6 upon 14 minus 2 to the is 4 and 7 to the is 14 so common denominator as 14 and you will write 6 minus 4 so what is 6 minus 4 it is 2 upon 14 so you can see children 2 and 14 14 is further divisible by 2 so 2 ones are to 7s are 14 so your answer will be 1 upon 7 right children so let's move to the fourth one 4 upon 6 minus 3 upon 5 so you can see both the denominators they are not divisible by each other so we are going to carry out cross multiplication right so 4 into 5 upon 6 into 5 minus 3 into 6 upon 5 into 6 so what is 4 fives are 4 fives are is 20 and 6 fives are is 30 minus what is 3 sixes are 18 and what is 5 sixes are 30 right so you will write 20 minus 18 upon 30 right so what is 20 minus 18 it is 2 so 2 upon 30 now you can see children 2 and 30 they are further divisible 2 ones are 2 15s are 30 so your answer will be 1 upon 15 right children so 1 upon 15 is your answer let's move to the next one 2 upon 7 minus 1 upon 4 now again 7 and 4 they are not divisible by each other so again you are going to carry out cross multiplication so you will write it as 2 into 4 upon 7 into 4 minus 1 into 7 upon 4 into 7 so what is 2 for za 2 for za is 8 and what is 7 for za 28 minus what is 1 seven za 7 and what is 4 seven za 28 right so you will keep the common denominator as it is 28 and 8 minus 7 so what is 8 minus 7 8 minus 7 is 1 so you get the answer as 1 upon 28 right children 
so students i hope you have understood the subtraction of unlike fractions now we are going to move to the next part of this lesson what is it a fraction of a collection and a multiple of a fraction so we'll just see what are the examples of it 1 upon 4 of a collection of 20 dots right 20 dots collection is there and the fraction part is 1 upon 4 so what will you do you will write it as 1 upon 4 into 20 right so what is 4 ones are 4 fives are so you get the answer as 5 so 1 upon 4 of a collection of 20 dots the answer will be 5 so what you are going to do you are just going to see whether it is divisible that fraction part the denominator whether you you can divide it right children so now let's take another example 1 upon 2 of a collection of 20 dots so again what i will write i will write 1 upon 2 into 20 right so 2 ones are 2 tens are 20 right so you get the answer as 10 dots right so 1 upon 2 of a collection of 20 dots is 10 dots let's take another example 3 upon 4 of a collection of 20 dots so what i will do i will write 3 upon 4 into 20 now 4 how much is 20 4 ones are 4 fives are 20 now 3 is also there so what is 3 fives are 3 fives are is 15 so 15 dots is your answer 3 upon 4 of a collection of 20 dots is 15 let's move to the next one twice 5 is 10 right now twice means what it is children 2 right twice means 2 so you will write 2 twice 5 so 2 into 5 is equal to 10 right so twice 5 is 10 you will write it as twice means 2 into 5 is 10 means equal to 10 let's take another example 1 upon 2 times 10 so when it is given again you will write 1 upon 2 into 10 so 2 ones are 2 fives are 10 so you get the answer as 1 into 5 is how much 5 right let's take another example thrice 5 now thrice means you know children 3 right so what will you write thrice means 3 thrice 5 so into 5 so what is thrice 5 three fives are is 15 right thrice means 3 in 5 so we are multiplying 3 into 5 so three fives are is 15 next is 1 upon 3 times 15 so how will you write 1 upon 3 into 15 times means always multiplication so 3 ones are 3 fives are so 1 fives are is again 5 right so this is the way you are going to solve it next is 2 upon 3 times 15 so how will you do it 2 upon 3 into 15 so 3 ones are 3 fives are 15 so what is remaining in the numerator 2 into 5 so what is 2 fives are 10 right so 10 is your answer now let's see one word problem meena has 5 rupees tina has twice as many rupees right so now what has meena got she has got 5 rupees and tina she has got twice as many rupees right so twice means two times right so 2 into 5 that is 10 rupees so tina has got how many rupees 10 rupees because twice as many rupees right now meena has half as many rupees as tina so half means 1 upon 2 so this is written as 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 into 10 now tina has got how many rupees 10 rupees so 2 ones are 2 fives are 10 so you get the answer as 5 rupees 
right children i hope you have understood this word problem meena has half as many rupees half means 1 upon 2 as tina now tina has got how many rupees 10 so 1 upon 2 into 10 so 2 ones are 2 fives are 10 so you get the answer as 5 rupees let's take one more example ramu has to travel a distance of 20 km if he has traveled 4 upon 5 of the distance by car how many kilometers did he travel by car so ramu he has traveled distance of 20 km and 4 by 5 distance he has already traveled so you have to find out how many kilometers did he travel by car so how will you write 4 upon 5 into 20 right so 5 ones are 5 fours are 20 so 4 into 4 is 16 so ramu he traveled the distance of 16 kilometers by car right 4 upon 5 into 20 so 5 ones are 5 fours are 20 so 4 fours are 16 right let's start with problem set 23 first one what is 1 upon 3 of each of the collections given below right so the first serial number is given as 15 pencils so the fraction is 1 upon 3 and 15 pencils so you will write 1 upon 3 into 15 right so 3 ones are 3 fives are 15 so 1 into 5 will you you'll get 5 so you will write it as 5 pencils right children let's move to the second one second one is again 21 balloons right so what is the fraction part 1 upon 3 right so 1 upon 3 into 21 so 3 ones are 3 sevens are 21 so 1 into 7 is 7 so 7 balloons you will write right next what is 1 upon 3 of each of the collection given below third one is 9 children so 1 upon 3 into 9 so 3 ones are 3 threes are 9 so 1 into 3 will become 3 so answer will be 3 children right move to the next one 1 upon 3 of each of the collection of given below that is 18 books so 1 upon 3 into 18 so 3 ones are 3 six zaitin 1 into 6 is 6 so you will write the answer as six books right next one what is 1 upon 5 of each of the following so what is first one 20 rupees the fraction is 1 upon 5 into 20 so 5 ones are 5 fours are 20 so your answer will be 4 rupees right let's move to the next one what is 1 upon 5 of 30 km right so 1 upon 5 into 30 so 5 ones are 5 six are 30 so 1 into 6 is 6 km right let's move to the next one what is 1 upon 5 of 15 liters so 1 upon 5 into 15 so 5 ones are 5 threes are 15 1 into 3 is 3 so you will write it as 3 liters right let's move to the next one what is 1 upon 5 of 25 cm so 1 upon 5 into 25 so 5 ones are 5 fives are 25 so 1 into 5 you will write it as 5 cm right let's move to the next one find the part of each of the following numbers equal to the given fraction so first one is 2 upon 3 of 30 so you will write 2 upon 3 into 30 so 3 ones are 3 tens are 30 so 2 into 10 is 20 so you will write the answer as 20 now let's move to the next one 7 upon 11 of 22 right so you will write 7 upon 11 into 22 so 11 ones are 11 twos are 22 so what is there in the numerator 7 into 2 so 7 twos are 14 so 14 is your answer 
Next one is 3 upon 8 of 64. So what will you write? 3 upon 8 into 64. So 8 ones are 8. 8 is 64. So 3 into 8 is how much? 24. So 3 8 is 24. Now let's move to the next one. Five. So fourth one is 5 upon 13 of 65. So how are you going to write it? 5 upon 13 into 65. Right? So 13 ones are 13. 5 is 65. Right? So 5 into 5 is how much? 25. So 25 is your answer. So children with this we finish problem set 23. Let's move to the next one. Next is about the mixed fractions. So what are mixed fractions that we are going to see. So 3 upon 2 right. So this is a fraction. It can be written as 1 1 upon 2. You can see here this 1 1 upon 2. This is called as a mixed fraction. So how is it read? It is read as 1 and 1 upon 2. Right? It is read as 1 and 1 upon 2. So you can see this one it is the integer part and this 1 upon 2 that is called as the fraction part. So let's see some more examples of mixed fractions. 2 1 upon 4 3, 2 upon 5, 7, 4 upon 9. These are all mixed fractions. So I hope students you have understood what are mixed fractions. Let's move to the next one. Fractions in which the numerator is greater than the denominator are called as improper fractions. Right? So the numerator is greater than the denominator. Right? So those are called as Improper fractions. 3 upon 2 and 5 upon 3. So here you can see in the numerator 3 is greater than the denominator 2. In the second example also the numerator 5 is greater than the denominator 3. So these are called as improper fractions when the numerator is greater than the denominator. So we can convert this improper fractions into mixed fractions also. So how can we convert them? You can see 3 upon 2. So what I have done 3 upon 2 means uh, 2 plus 1 is 3. So 2 plus 1 upon 2 has been written. Right now we can split them 2 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2. So you can see 2 ones are 2. So you can write this as 1. 1 upon 2. Right. So this is the way you can convert it into a mixed fraction. Right children. So children with this we finish the chapter of fractions. Right. So I hope everybody has understood the fractions chapter. How to convert the like fractions into unlike fractions. How to carry out addition of like fractions, subtraction of like fractions as well as addition and subtraction of unlike fractions, comparison of like fractions, comparison of unlike fractions and then last part we saw about the fraction of the collection. So uh, I hope students um, it, the whole uh, fractions chapter was very easy for you all to understand. So in the next session we will meet with a new chapter. Till then goodbye.